So I remember in fourth grade, I was still a new student, overwhelmed, and three girls came up to me. Do you want to play catch with us? They asked. And I agreed, because it was fun. So as soon as we started playing, I noticed I'd played catch very differently before that. So I decided to stop playing. Why? Because I couldn't take the risk. Was it the risk of being different or simply the risk of losing? OK, anyway, so right now you're sitting here listening to people go on and on, making sure to stay concentrated. At which point will you disappear into your daydreams? Where is your boundary? And yes, I'm talking to everybody, to the first graders in the front and the adults in the back, because to everything you do in life, there are boundaries. The simplest things like riding and walking and talking have a boundary. There will always be a point where your mental or physical system will shut down. So what is a boundary? Some people may think their boundary is a line, a line where their comfort zone ends and their learning zone begins. Others may think as their boundary is how to say yes and when to say no, as Dr. Cloud says in his book, Boundaries. Now some may think their boundary is a room that locks them in and they have to get out. But either way, boundaries are not there to stop us, but to push us forward. So I remember in primary, we used to do cool things like climbing. And the day before going climbing, the teacher would show us something like this, a diagram showing the basic idea of a boundary. They'd say we should get out of our comfort zone and enter the learning zone by going up a meter further or doing a part of the parkour we've never done before. So that was probably the first time I heard the word boundary. And how do we set our boundaries? Well, there are three things you must consider. First, create a goal. When setting your boundary, it is as important to create a goal as the boundary itself, as the goal will show what your commitment is directed towards. So why would you say you can bungee jump off a cliff when you know you won't be able to? Second, make sure your boundaries are clear with others. Dana Gionta, a doctor, says that if you merge your boundaries with somebody else's, it will become soft, and in return, you will become vulnerable. Third, think of the risk, the mental or physical risk. Why would you say, um, um, think about it like this, if you try, will you regret it? Now before I leave, let me leave you with this quote by Theodore Roosevelt. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in, in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst fails while daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those timid souls that know neither victory nor defeat. So let's set goals with clear boundaries that are worth the risk. Let's get in the arena. Thank you.